Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Cinebench R15 running on Intel Core i5 1035G4 and AMD Ryzen 5 4500U. And this test, uh, first of all we are running the multi-threaded test, and what you will see here is that uh, the Ryzen is a 6-core chip and the Core i5 is a quad-core chip. However, the i5 has hyperthreading, so it actually works on eight sections of the image at a time, as opposed to six on the Ryzen. However, despite this, um, because the way hyperthreading works, you don't get you know eight times the benefit of a single core. You you gain a little bit of performance working on those two things simultaneously, but the Ryzen still has a thirty-two percent, almost thirty-three percent. Uh, performance advantage in this particular test. We can see here it's already finished while the Core i5 system is still going. Um, and that is, you know, it has 50% uh, you know, more cores, but of course, similar power limits. The Ryzen does draw a little bit more power in this unit, at least according to Open Hardware Monitor, uh, drawing, I believe, typically around 20 to 22 watts once it gets out of the sort of short-term boost, uh, whereas the Core i5 is using more like 18 watts. They both start off at the 30 watt level and then drop down, um, but the Ryzen is able to maintain pretty good clock speeds throughout and uh, gain a performance advantage that way. Uh, looking at the single-threaded performance as well, uh, there is a very small difference between the two chips. The Ryzen still take, give us, takes the honours here with around about a 3% performance advantage. Uh, so you can see a fair chunk of its performance advantage here isn't from single-threaded performance. Uh, it, it will run uh, slightly higher clock speeds typically, um, which is what's giving it that benefit in the single-threading. Uh, but then in the multi-threaded performance test, just simply having more cores, even though it's working on less threads at the same time, having more proper cores is what's giving its advantage there. Um, obviously, the way clock speeds work on these, um, the performance gain is 3.7 times on the Core i5. So even though you have four cores, going from single thread to multi-thread isn't a four times increase or particularly a eight times increase if it was benefiting from the eight threads. Um, because the clock speeds reduced to keep it within those power limits, um, it's only a 3.7 times gain. And on the Ryzen, the gain is 4.76 times. So again, you're seeing a... You're not gaining six times the performance from those six cores. You're gaining... 4.76 because you have six cores working but at lower clock speeds than when one is working on it. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know in the comments what else you would like to see me testing on these chips. I will be trying to do some comparison videos between the two. Um, I have already tested Grand Theft Auto 5, so be sure to check that out. And um, yeah, any comments, hit like if it was useful and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.